Hey, what's up guys? My name is Bazan and in this video, I'll be going over how you can use the Unity software to detect collisions and destroy objects on collisions. Before I show you any of the code, make sure you hit that like button Comment anything down below, such as a question, some feedback, or even a video idea. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos on Science Olympiad and coding every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So right now, what you're looking at is the exact code I used to make, the, to make any game object destroyed on collision. Now, specifically, this code will destroy the object that this script is attached to. So, for example, if you have one object, let's say that object is a bullet, and you have another object, let's just say that object is a wall. So, if your bullet or projectile has the code attached to it and hits the wall, then the bullet will be destroyed. But using that same example, if the wall has the code attached to it and the bullet collides with the wall, then the wall will be disappeared because it had the code attached to it. Now, if you look at the code, you see two different scripts or two different methods. You see a void on collision enter, and that's for 3D objects and 3D collisions. And you see a void on collision enter 2D. It's important to differentiate between these two. Void on collision enter is for 3D objects and 3D collisions, while void on collision enter 2D is for 2D objects and 2D collisions. So now that that's out of the way, let's look at what's inside each method. Inside each method, there's a destroy function. And what the destroy function does, it destroys, well, game objects. But we don't want to destroy just any game object. We want to destroy the game object the script is attached to. So to do so, we use the destroy parentheses this dot game object. So it destroys the game object that this script is attached to. So if you want to destroy the game object the script is attached to, you want to use the destroy this dot game object. And you want to make sure you're using the right method. You don't want to use void on collision enter if you're using a 2D game. You want to use void on collision enter 2D for 2D games and vice versa for 3D games. Now, right now, what you're looking at is the other type of script that you can use to destroy other objects on collision. So if we go back to the other example of the bullet and the wall, if the script is attached to the bullet, then when the bullet collides with the wall, the wall will be destroyed because the bullet has the script attached to it. And conversely, if the wall has a script attached to it and the bullet collides with the wall, the bullet will disappear because the wall has a script attached to it. So like usual, we do have, when we work with any type of collision and you want anything to be done with a collision, you have to use the void on collision enter and, or void on collision enter 2D for whether you're using 3D objects or 2D objects. Now within that, we have, we don't have the destroy this dot game object. We have destroy collision dot game object. So if you notice in the beginning of each method, we define a variable called collision. It was collision collision. That's our name of the variable. And that's also the name of the type of variable we're using. So what a collision is, is the, is that the Unity software tracks the collider, the collision between two objects that have colliders. And from that, it will take a variable. And if you find collision.gameObject, it actually finds the variable you're colliding with. So if you destroy the, very, the object, your game object you're colliding with, then you'll see the other objects that don't have the script attached to it will be destroyed. So again, if you want to destroy any type of game object on collision, you have to use a destroy method and you have to use either void on collision enter 2D or void on collision enter. Now there will be a link in the description that will take you to my website where I go a little bit more into depth on this topic and you can also find better pictures of the code I use 
to execute this task. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, drop any questions, feedback, or a video ideas down in the comments below. Follow me on social media. My Instagram page will be right here, or you can find links to all of my social media pages down in the description. And finally, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos that will help you specifically with Science Olympiad or coding. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stand faced.